So she wanted us to put almond milk in our milk bottle. We were purging our stuff and figuring out what we want to donate. And she she wanted this bottle and she wanted us to pour almond milk in it. So she's been drinking out of that instead of her cup or sippy cup. She's uh, she's going down memory lane. She's regressing and she's thinking a little bit about it. We're also potty training at home, so she's not wearing any pants. <laughs> right, Ava? So today I would like to talk to you about intentions. And it's kind of like saying a prayer before you do something. Both of them are the same thing. They're much, pretty much studying the intention of how you, uh, you desire things to go before something commences, something happens. Um, like yesterday, she's singing Rain, 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 Go Away song. So Ava was um, singing Rain, Rain, Go Away. So I would like to talk to you about um, setting an intention before something commences. Like yesterday before my call, I closed my eyes and I asked for the multiverse for help and I said, Dear Heavenly Father, please help me have a powerful, profound, deeply uh, amazing call with my client and I, you know, uh, Where are my signs? Help me listen with my heart and my soul and listen to my client's heart and soul and Where truly... Where are my signs? Where are my signs? I don't know, sweetheart. You had them right there, so where'd you put them? Oh, you put them on the bed. And um, and so it was so powerful. I didn't put them there. No one put them there. You are the only one who plays with it. And um, and it was so powerful. It was so powerful when you set that intention. And my call so with my clients really became profound and deep. When it is so powerful? When you set an intention, like when we close our eyes and we think uh, we're grateful for our food before we eat it, and the food is blessed, and then you eat it. But it's hard. It's not hard. It's easy. Um, yes, yeah, so, so that is so powerful. You have that power. You have that power to set intentions before anything. Mama! Do you know what are power lines? Uh, you can talk about power lines later. Um, it's, it's so powerful, right? And you, what is so powerful? Your, your ability to, to, to clear into existence thoughts and what you say, how you say things go, and they go that way because you have that ability. You have it to set the intention of how something goes from before you eat something and setting the nutrition and how it blesses you and your body to, um, to your conversations with your clients. To uh, even before you have a conversation with your son or your daughter or your husband or your mom, you know, you close your eyes and you set the intention of how you desire it to go and how it will go and how you want to, you listen to with your heart and your spirit and uh, coming from a place of love and compassion and like all the things that you would like it to, to show through your conversation is how you can set it before you actually have the conversation. It's so, Mama, so powerful. Do you want this on your desk? Uh, not right now. I do not want that on my desk. Please don't stick anything to my desk. You can stick it on here, okay? You can stick it on here. Um, <coughs> so, try it on for size, and you will be floored at how powerful you are. And that's pretty much like writing out your manifestations, writing out your daily intentions of how you desire your life to go. Uh, when you do that first thing in the morning, you write out your goals and the things that you're going to uh, accomplish for the day and with what kind of energy and what kind of vibe, then that is how you do it. That's how you carry it out. It's just astounding. So amazing. Um, and, uh, and if you don't know how to do any of this and you need some guidance, then uh, reach out to me. I am a life coach. I do this for a living. And I coach people every day on how to live their most powerful life. I, sh I teach them how to choose their words with intention and power and how to um, manifest into existence the life they, they would like to live. And they have that capability, all of us. We all have that capability. We all have that divine right. We all have that power. But many of us forget. We don't know how to access it. We, we don't believe it, and, um, and that, uh, that holds us back. It really holds us back from living a very meaningful Bye. life. So, uh, reach out to me. 
and um, and hire me to be your life coach. I've done it. I know how it works. I know it does work, and I can show you how to do it very powerfully and how to do it very effectively. And um, I've done it for a long time, and I've had a lot of success with it. My clients have had a lot of success with it. You can check on my website, read some testimonials on people that have tried it out and how powerful it has transformed their life. And and if you don't, um, you know, if you if you don't know how to do it, then that's where you reach out to me for help, and I will show you how to do it. And um, you, we can start our coaching relationship and get ready to live your most powerful life. Right, Ava? Right? Right? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ava's ready to say goodbye. Bye-bye. 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 Mommy. 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 Okay, so here's to you living a soul elevated life. Hire a coach in your life, and that would be ideally me. It doesn't have to be. It could be anybody that resonates with you, but everyone needs a coach in that, your corner. And if you don't, don't, would you like to hear more about that, then check, check out yesterday's video. I will uh, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.